Hello, it's Nancy today. Well, I did it. I brought the Christmas tree in. I was going to take you out there and bring you two, but it was really heavy and cumbersome. And so I brought it in all by itself. Now, I think the best thing to do, I moved my loom, which was back there, standing up, not used. I moved the chair over there, and I think if I put the Christmas tree over there, it would be nice to paint all that first, but I'd have to go search for the paint, and then I can't get the smell out of here anyway. So I think I'll put the Christmas tree up right there. I got a really fancy tree a few years ago because I went to Germany and they were amazing trees they had there. I thought I would put, you know, I've got this skirt and you put the skirt on top of the tree, you know, but this is a beautiful big round thing. I think I'm just going to put it on the ground. I'll put the tree on top of it. I don't know why. Don't ask such details. So I went to Germany a couple of years ago because my daughter moved over there and got married. And I saw all these incredible Christmas decorations they had there. I hadn't any idea how incredible they were. I guess this is the bottom then, you think? With the tall spike. Come on, you gotta go in first. Okay, there you go. This tree cost me a lot of money. Three hundred dollars or something, or two hundred, I don't know what it was. Maybe I forget those painful thoughts, but it's got the bulbs on it. I never had bulbs on my Christmas tree before. doesn't look so great, right? Well, hey, this could be a how-to video for all those teenagers that have got their own tree for the first time. Okay, now what you do now is you start at the bottom and you open up all the branches so that they go in the right direction. So all these pieces are pointing outward, up and down, so they look like a of a real tree. Whatever a real tree looks like. Okay, so that's the first one. And then if you work your way around, do the one beside it next. It's amazing how everything gets all squished up in the box. Or if you get it into the box. There you are. First two. Oh, they're hiding in there. Okay, and now what you can do, you can rotate your tree. Instead of having to, instead of having to work in one place forever, or, or get up and wander around, so you can just rotate your tree, if it's an artificial one. 
So I've done those two, so we'll turn it around and I'll do the next one down here. but it smells a little bit moldy. Good grief. Okay, so that's three bottom ones. Straightening up all the branches, making them all the parts of the branches in it. And you can, this is where you can shape the tree to be any kind of shape you want. You can have, you can have them going around in a circle, or you can have them all flat. And also, when you're hanging up ornaments, this is nice because you can move them around, move the branches around to fit where your ornaments are. I better check that and make sure we're not at 10 minutes yet. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, only seven minutes. Okay. Concentrating on the bottom row first. Because I find if I get mixed up and do everything, go all around them, then I'll end up not, you know, missing something or whatever. I mean, you're going to see it so you can go back and fix it later. But organized people know what that's like. They like to stay organized, right? Okay, here we go. I love Jesus Christ. I really love that He came and did what He did for us so that we can go back and live with him again, so that all the sins that we've done can be washed away. I'm really grateful for, I'm grateful for how he leads me in my life now. I'm grateful for all the teachings he gave us and still gives. And he lives. I know the Savior lives. He's not gone and he's just when he rose he left the earth remember he went up in the clouds he took his body with him and that's where he is with his body not maybe in the same cloud of course okay Christmas. I love thinking about the Savior. I don't like Christmas Christmas tree music, you know, all that stuff about Santa Claus. I mean, I don't mind Santa Claus. I like Santa Claus. I read it to my kids all the time and everything, but for me, Christmas is not about anything except my Savior. And the reason that presents are part of Christmas, in my opinion, is because the greatest present that we could ever be given is to have our sins forgiven, to be able to start over a second chance, and that we can be able to be worthy to live with him again in heaven. That we can, um, that is the greatest gift of all. And so, you know, really under a Christmas tree, you should put the crash. I think the crash should go under the tree because Santa and presents it's really not Christmas. It's about Jesus Christ and the present that he gave us, which was his to take away our sins in the Garden of Gethsemane and to be and to rise again from the dead. 
so we all will be resurrected and we may all have our sins taken away. So I think that's where Santa, or that's what should go under the Christmas tree, is a, the crash, the, pic, the Jesus Christ. And so we will remember that that's what the gift is. And the reason we give gifts to other people is to pass around the love that he gave to us, the love that he showed and chose to us. And so we show that love to other people by giving them gifts, which can never compare with the gift of eternal life, which we have been given by Jesus Christ. Nothing can compare to that gift. Okay, what's the time? <laughs>